habeas corpus habeas corpus is a writ or a law requiring a person to be brought before a judge or court especially for investigation of a restraint of the person's liberty used as a protection against illegal imprisonment habeas corpus is used in every court room across the world especially in democracies habeas corpus is used in every court room to prevent illegal detention so habeas corpus is a guardian of personal liberty habeas corpus is the guardian of personal liberty habeas corpus was suspended in america in 2001 after the twin towers fell the patriot act was passed and uh, well there are lots of cartoons on this uh, the idea basically is that because terrorists hate our freedom we need to be tough with them and in times of war habeas corpus is suspended uh, it's almost like saying someone is guilty until proven innocent usually it has to be proven uh, uh, innocent until proven guilty that's the right way of looking at law to prevent unjust detention unjust detention of prisoners you have this habeas corpus literally means bring the body bring the body a prerogative writ issued by the court used to command a person who is detaining another in custody to produce that person before the court it is used to secure the release of a person detained unlawfully or without legal justification so habeas corpus uh are roughly translate, translated into you should have the body is a recourse in law whereby a person can report an unlawful detention or imprisonment before a court usually through a prison official it is a recourse in law to report an unlawful detention now a legal recourse basically means an action that can be taken by an individual or a company corporation to attempt to, to remedy a legal difficulty a recourse means a lawsuit a uh, recourse means an action that can be taken by an individual to remedy a legal difficulty that's called a legal recourse the word recourse recourse means uh, turning to or making use of turning to or making use of a person or thing for aid or in an effort to achieve something have recourse to the courts turning to or making use of take recourse to or have recourse to so uh, or one that is turned to or made use of for aid in security uh, aid or security one that is turned to or made use of uh, our only recourse is the police so that is recourse recourse means turned to or made use of so the patriot act which became effective on 26th october 2001 Uh, authorizes indefinite detention without indictment for foreigners suspected of having links to terrorist organizations the state of war was invoked to justify the institution of these laws which are so harmful to liberty that even may violate the military code itself uh, the law extends the notion of illegal enemy combatant which no longer describes only foreigners captured on the field of battle but also foreigners or us citizens who have never left their country of origin while us citizens indicted on the basis of this notion of illegal enemy combatant must be deferred before civil courts it's not the case for foreigners who may be judged by military commissions in these exceptional courts defendants do not have the right to choose their own lawyer instead the defense lawyer will be a military person designated by the president who also designates the military judges and determines the degree of physical coercion that can be applied to the prisoner the lawyer also has no access to evidentiary elements of the case which may be classified as secret so interestingly the national defense authorization act signed by president obama on 31st december 2011 authorizes the indefinite detention without trial or indictment of any us citizens designated as enemies by the executive so the law concerns any person designated by the administration as a member of the al qaeda or taliban or to take part in hostile action against usa and not only that but also anyone who substantially supports these organizations this formula enables an extensive and flexible use of the law so it will it will enable 
the government to lash out at any civil defense organizations who seek to protect the constitutional rights of U.S. citizens who have been designated by the executive as enemies of the USA. Thomas Paine said, it is the duty of the patriot to protect his country from its government. The Declaration of Independence says, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, and that to secure these rights, the governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. The preamble of the American Constitution is like this. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America.